AIMLAB failed at the very thing they set out to do. Their goal was to provide people with feedback they need to improve, and instead they provide people with feedback that hurts them. This is coming from someone who played more than 99.5% of other players in AIMLAB in 2021. However, there is a way to correctly use AIMLAB, and I'm going to explain that at the end. A lot of people think feedback doesn't matter, and what's important is actually doing the training, but this isn't true. Feedback tells people when they're improving, what they need to work on, how to do it, and it helps them motivate themselves and stay focused. In this video, I'm going to explain the problems with AIMLAB's feedback system. The first issue is percentile. Knowing what percentile you're in is a great way to learn your skill level. However, AIMLAB never tells you your percentile. This number they give you is just your score divided by an arbitrary number. It means nothing, and it is very rare for someone to be below 30%. On perception tasks, almost everyone is above 80%. I know my reaction time is bad, especially compared to other gamers. Had, gone, had more effort gone into these percentages, they might be a semi-working system, but they are extremely inconsistent and poorly made. These worthless percentages will go into rank calculation, resulting in a lot of issues. A lot of times they'll cause people to focus on their weaknesses instead of their strengths. Let's say you have top 30% in tracking and top 70% in flicking. You might think it's best to work on flicking and balance out your skill. However, if you're grinding grid shot and some irrelevant tracking task to get these percentages, you could very easily be a similar skill level in both and even better at flicking than you are at tracking. This means that by training your flicking more than tracking, you might be wasting your time and not balancing out your skill level the way you want to. Speed and precision are included in your rank. A lot of times I'll see players on Reddit saying, how can I improve speed? How can I improve precision? The speed category has fast moving targets and large static. These are completely different skills. You aren't bad at speed. Maybe you're bad at tracking fast targets. Maybe you're bad at clicking large dots. They're completely different things. Precision is the same way. Precise small tracking and very precise small dots. Completely different skills. And from this feedback, you don't know which one you're bad at. You don't know what to work on. You cannot improve. But let's say you look at the specific tasks and you know that you're bad at the clicking ones more than the tracking ones. But then you remember the percentages don't mean anything, so you have no information on what to work on. Now this means you have no idea what you're actually supposed to practice. Maybe you end up wasting your time playing memory like I did. The only consistency in AIMLAB ranks is that you will think you are way better than you are. Plat is essentially the minimum rank in AIMLAB, and a couple people will get gold. Because games put their average somewhere in gold, this makes people think they are way better at aiming than they actually are. This leniency can cause complacency, which basically just means you think you're way better than you are, so practice won't make you improve because you're not as motivated or focused. It's why a lot of people drive for hours every day for 20 years and still are about as good as they were when they were 25. If you're not feeling forced to improve at a skill, your brain won't develop neural pathways you won't improve. Also, these ranks will even go down if you do a more challenging task that makes you improve more. It's giving negative feedback for doing the right thing. This should never happen. AimLab did add Voltaic and RA ranks. They give you actual feedback and actual things you can improve. While these are arbitrary numbers, they don't try to equate scores in one task to scores in another, so it will reflect your actual skill level and give you feedback you need to improve. If you want to be good at AIMLAB, you don't need to care about what your default rank is, whether it's PLAT or GM. Only focus on Voltaic and RA ranking and you will improve as fast as you can. Subscribe for more tips on how to improve your aim.